artificial intelligence, gene editing, inequalities. Yes, in, in, well, I, I think in this novel, I brought it up in the context of um, a world in which um, we have big data, artificial intelligence, what is it that makes a, an individual person unique and special? Mm. Is there really something like a soul inside our bodies? Um, or or are, we, are we more or less predictable? Um, one of us is much like another. If we have enough data, we would be able to more or less reproduce our character and personalities. There, there is a scientist um, in the novel who says that, that we have searched and searched. There is nothing inside, you know, um, um, and this is why you, you, know, you can you can replace somebody you love um, with 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 a machine as long as you have excavated all the data. Yeah. I would say, well, yes, but perhaps you're looking at the wrong place. There is something real about the emotions people feel towards each other. And perhaps that what you call a soul perhaps exists in the feelings of the, pe the people who love that, that particular individual. My concern is that societies um, will soon become meritocracies, which are quite savage. Um, now, most of the time I've been growing up, I've, I've thought of meritocracy as, as, a, as a good thing, that, that it, it's, it's good to create a hierarchy according to merit and not on, say, class privilege or race. But, of course, um, in a world in which you can actually technically make some people yeah. superior to others, a meritocracy can then become something rather like um, the apartheid system. Uh, but, um, but I suppose the shock that I have had myself um, uh, in realizing that the, the, the kind of the liberal democratic consensus that I almost took for granted all the time that I was growing up is much more fragile than it actually is. I think many of the, the great challenges we face at the moment is to do with the fact that um, we don't seem to have any strong force that argues that we should try and narrow the inequality gap. People are not afraid of inequality so much. And I think inequality is becoming greater and greater. And I, and I think this is, this is a very dangerous thing for us.